Hi, I'm Sophia Cordy, a graduate student pursuing her master's degree at Western Kentucky University. Over the past three years, with the support of the International Elephant Foundation, Earthwatch, Wildlife Works, Western Kentucky University, and other donors, we have been researching different ways to help both humans and elephants in a region where both struggle to coexist, mainly due to human-elephant conflict in the form of crop raiding. Starting in 2017, we have worked closely alongside farmers in the Kasigao Wildlife Corridor of southern Kenya to help them mitigate this conflict through the use of deterrent fences, climate-smart agriculture, and environmental monitoring. During 2020, we plan to head back to our field site to continue the progress of this work and add new additions to the deterrent fences. The World Health Organization has now confirmed the coronavirus is a pandemic. Due to COVID-19, that didn't happen. However, just because we were stuck in our homes doesn't mean the elephants stopped raiding farms and the people living there aren't still affected. Elephant research isn't all safaris and photographing wildlife. To reach conclusions and get results, a lot of coding, statistics, reading, and writing have to take place, which is exactly what we used 2020 to do. Farmers rely heavily on their crops to sustain themselves both nutritionally and financially. Many animals raid these crops, but no animal has as detrimental of an effect on a farmer's field in a single night than elephants. Their necessity to consume large quantities of food every day, intelligence, and sheer size make them an incredible threat to farmers' livelihoods, and dangerous to confront, especially in the dark of night when most crop raiding events occur. While most farmers living in areas with high levels of human-elephant conflict would rather elephants not be around at all, they're an incredibly important species to their habitat. As herbivores, they consume high quantities of leaves, nuts, and seeds a day and are incredibly important for seed dispersal, making them ecosystem engineers. Our project aims to mitigate this conflict and aid both parties involved by focusing on two main factors. 1. Developing an ecological prediction system based on abiotic environmental factors, tree damage, and wildlife presence to better equip farmers in predicting crop rating events. And 2. Testing the efficacy of different deterrent types over multiple trials to tell which deterrent works the best at preventing these crop rating events and which stands up against elephant habituation. Over 2020, we have worked to analyze abiotic and biotic factor data, including moon phase, rainfall, temperature, season, wildlife presence, and tree damage caused by elephants in order to create an ecological prediction system for farmers and researchers to use to predict the likelihood of crop rating events. Multiple isolated studies have been done to assess which abiotic factors crop rating events are associated with. However, no such project has been conducted that included all of these into one system. This will greatly help both farmers and researchers prepare for crop rating events by setting up deterrent fences and camera traps. To test which deterrent works the best and resists habituation, we have created, built, and tested a total of 18 different deterrent types over the past three years with the help of Earthwatch volunteers. During 2020, fences were still up and crop rating events were still being recorded by our team on the ground in Kenya. If you would like to join us once we are cleared to travel, we welcome you to join as a citizen scientist on one of our expeditions through Earthwatch under our project title Elephants and Sustainable Agriculture in Kenya. During this, you'll be able to assist us in some of the more glamorous parts of elephant research, such as building deterrent fences, analyzing camera trap images, and setting out on driving transects to record elephant and other wildlife presence in the area. Thank you for your support, and we hope that you will be able to join us at our field site in Kenya after this historic event passes.